Okay, so luckily we have enough wire coming through the firewall. That's between the AC or whatever, some AC heater box, I don't know what. But this line here, this line here is the center from those aluminum, those big aluminum lines that we saw come on the inside through the firewall. This is the center line of that. So then I just went up from there and then I measured over about three inches and, and it came out to be just right. So that's where the hole comes through the firewall and we have just enough wires to comfortably attach them to the other part of the wiring harness that goes to the, to the boost gauge. And then once we get that wired up behind the dash, we're gonna go ahead and replace the compass. Okay, so there's just a screw on each side of the, the cover here, like this. One screw on each side, that comes off. Then you have two screws on either side of this and a plug. Just unplug that and this comes out. Then we're gonna remove that screw. That one's broken, we're gonna fix that actually that one and that one then we're going to get inside of here and replace this gauge this compass gauge with the boost gauge if you were to Okay, so we've got the gauges off. We've got the uh, turbo boost gauge mounted to the console, to the gauge cluster. Now here's a free cookie. So don't try to send the wire harness for the gauge, this one. You would think logically that it would go down there very nicely, but it doesn't at all. Uh, it seems to be completely surrounded by another layer of sheet metal below it and there's only enough space for this one wire, but you won't be able to fish it out from anywhere under here. So, is what you do is you go through one of these slots right here. And I've been able to bring it into here. So now I'm gonna be able to get this wire, these wires connected and go to stage, uh, next stage. Okay, a little time saver. So you can reuse the, if you have a Pajero, you can reuse the wire harness for the compass, which is what was removed, and the boost bait gauge will take its place. So you can use the yellow, the yellow wire is for the lights. So for night driving, you'll want that connected. So yellow goes to, I think it was orange or white, don't remember, you'll have to figure it out when you look at the diagram. The blue from the old wiring harness is power and the purple is ground. And you have a few other grounds and I think two powers. You have accessory power and light power and you have constant power. So you have three powers actually. Three powers and I think three grounds. So there you go. Now we're gonna put this back together.